Hi, my name is Kate McMahon and I am the host of What's Happening. And today I would like to introduce you to members of the uh, Pastel Painters Society of Cape Cod. Ellie Friedman. Hello. Thanks for being here. And Maxine Raymond. Thank you for having us. Yeah, absolutely. You all have so much going on in the next few months, so thank you for coming in and sharing it with our viewers. Um, and I just have a few questions for you, and uh, we can take it from there. Uh, I understand that uh, you are a nonprofit, and I was hoping you could tell us a little mm -hmm. bit about your nonprofit and the society in general. Okay. Well, the Pastel Painters Society of Cape Cod was begun uh, about 22 years ago by um, some artists on Cape Cod who enjoyed the pastel medium and thought there should be a way to educate um, the public about um, this uh, form of art and also to um, share with other artists. And uh, since then it has grown to be a, a membership of over 250 people from over 35 states and even some other countries. Um, it's the only pastel society um, in Massachusetts. Um, our mission is, um, as I said, to educate people about the medium itself that dates uh, way back to 15th century. Many people uh, mm -hmm. uh, think of Degar as one of the uh, notable artists who used pastels, but a lot of people don't know a lot about it. So we um, educate the public through our exhibitions throughout the year and workshops that are ongoing, as well as a scholarship program for um, young artists. Great, that's awesome. Um, and I understand that you are opening a show in June at the Cultural Center. Can you tell us a little more about that? Our annual show, which is called Four Pastels Only, uh, is open to not only the membership, but it's a national juried show. This year we had 500 some odd entries and approximately 100 pieces accepted. So it's, the, it's a competitive and, and quality show that we end up with. It's at the Cultural Center, and um, it opens on the 20th of June with a reception on the 23rd at 6 o'clock in the evening. It's uh, an evening that's enjoyed by many people who come from year to year. It's, it's quite a spectacular show, and it's a beautiful venue. And then the show will close on the 15th of July. And as well that day, we have a demo by one of our members. So for people who are interested in seeing the process and watching a pastel painting come alive, that's also a nice activity yeah. to join us for. That sounds great. A hundred pieces. Mm -hmm. That is really a nice size show. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Wonderful. And quite a variety of subject matter. Yes. That's great. Speaking of pieces, thank you so much for bringing in some of your work today. Absolutely gorgeous. Appreciate thank it. Thank Ellie, you touched on it a little bit, mm -hmm. but uh, what other activities do you undertake? You had mentioned a scholarship and workshops. Yes. Can you tell yeah. us a little more about that? Well, I want to talk about the scholarships for any um, aspiring young artists who are out there. The deadline is May 1st. Uh, information um, is on our website, uh, Pastel Painter Society of Cape Cod. Um, and um, it is open to um, students graduating from high school in 2018 and also those who have graduated within the last three years mm. and um, need to be pursuing a career in some form of visual arts related field. It doesn't have to be that you're going to become a portrait painter. Um, last year we had a spectacular winner who was majoring in industrial design at the at Rhode Island School of Design and uh, the um, award is a $500 gift certificate for art supplies, a set of artist grade pastels, and we're going to recognize the winners at our show at the Cultural Center. Oh, excellent. So that it's a good great. opportunity um, for um, young artists. Um, as a former educator, I love the opportunity to go to Cape Cod mm -hmm. schools and see the wonderful arts programs and quality art education that's going on here. Yeah. It's wonderful to be able to support people that have a passion, mm -hmm. too. Absolutely. Which is great. Awesome. And uh, you also mentioned workshops, mm -hmm. classes that uh, you all give to folks or are available? Yes. We have um, well-known pastelists from 
not only all over the country, but uh, from all over the world that have come through Cape Cod for usually for two or three day workshops and the membership, uh, it's kind of a, as many as we can fit in comfortably. So people rush to try to have this opportunity and they've been fantastically received. So, uh, mm -hmm. so we keep getting that excitement brought in and shared by other artists. And of course, everyone has their own process and their own style. So it's, it's enlightening to the membership. That's great. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, speaking of members, how do you become mm -hmm. a member? Well, mm -hmm. anyone can join. Anyone who has an interest in the uh, medium of pastels. Um, if you, uh, one would go to our website, you can sign up online and that uh, enables you to participate in any of the organization's activities. We have a member show each year. This year we tried something new and did an online member show. Oh, um, um, you know, especially it, it was uh, put up in the late fall at a time when people may not be coming to the Cape. So we figured how can we get our art to as many people as possible. And mm -hmm. so it was a good way for people to be able to enjoy the art. Um, and um, we also have other workshops that go on one day workshops. Um, also by Notable Pastelist, there's a theme to each one. Last Saturday there was um, an artist, uh, Dave Caphammer from um, Central Massachusetts who did a workshop on painting water. So anybody who was interested in learning more about how that particular technique got to enjoy that particular one day workshop. Um, you get to see a demo, you get to try out techniques and receive feedback on painting. And no matter That's what your great. level of painting, you can um, take part in that. So right. those are some of the things that we do. Great. And those are member-only events, and that's um, the benefit. It's open one of to the members first, and okay. it's less expensive for members. Um, if there are still seats available after it's open to the membership, then it goes out to non-members for um, a higher cost. Um, sure. A membership pays for itself in very short order. Okay. Um, and the workshops fill up fast, so oftentimes there are not seats available for non-members. So really encourage people to join. Good, good, that's great. Is there anything else that you would like to add at this point? Uh, we just like again to welcome you to the show. It's a show and sale, mm -hmm. and um, for those interested in pursuing pastels, I might say so many people say, "Oh, I can't draw a straight line," but I would comment that so much of, of what we do is learned and we're we've got great people to share this with you. That's great. Well I look forward to the show. I'll see you then. Great. Wonderful. So thank you Please for being here. Thank you for thank having you. us. Appreciate it.